recently I decided to start doing my own nails because every time I go to the salon I struggle <laughs> with the ladies they don't do the shape that I want or I just I'm not a hundred percent satisfied with my nails and usually when I get my nails done it's like $45 since I'm now doing my nails I'm like I have to start my own nail polish collection so these are the ones they are from OP name of this is Big Apple it's a very pretty red and I also picked up Barefoot in Barcelona which is this is the color. It is a really pretty nude. And I also got Dulce de Leche. Which is this color. And, the, and that's the one I'm wearing right now. I don't know what you guys think, but I'm loving it. Yes, I did my nails. <laughs> so yeah, if you follow me on Snapchat, you probably have seen that I've been doing my nails. Uh, the other day I did them purple. That was kind of okay. That was actually Rose's nail polish. And... I liked it, but I just, I like the nude better. It's just more natural. It goes with everything. So these are the nails that I've been using, and that's how I did my nails right here, as you can see it. Focus, focus. It's pretty much this. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see me do a video where I do my own nails. So I can, so I can show you step by step on how I do it. I just want to make sure that I have a, a neutral color for my nails that it's gonna match with everything so yeah i went with dulce de leche and that's by op you can find it at target if you are interested in purchasing that and also i had to pick up more lashes because of course i have to bring fake lashes to the trip <laughs> and these are the vegas nay they are my favorite and my sister-in-law was the one that introduced me to these lashes and I'm very happy she did because they're so, so good. If you haven't tried them, you are missing out. <laughs> and I believe the price for this was $7.99. I also picked up this skirt, which I think it's really pretty. It is very uh, bohemian, I would say. Ooh, I don't know if it's focusing. So this is how the top looks. It's going to go like this. I'm planning on pairing this skirt with this bra. I don't know if you guys remember this bra from Victoria's Secret. I did a haul on this bra before and I was actually wearing it. And yeah, I just think this two together are going to look so pretty. You're going to have to stay tuned. And yes, I am going to be vlogging the adventure so you guys are going to be coming with me. So we're all going on vacation. So the next item that I purchased was some jeans. They have like leather and then in some parts is jeans they're very stretchy and they fit perfectly they really uh complement my booty so i got this one from nordstrom's rack they're just so pretty and the pockets are leather so i just think this with like a plain black shirt and my antigona like my, my new bag not not this one the other bag <laughs> and a pair of lubies that would look so pretty but I don't think I'm going to bring my Louis to Puerto Rico. I'm still debating. I'm not sure. But definitely my Antigua. I'm probably not going to bring it. Just because I don't want to be stressing over my bag. <laughs> I'm just going to bring this one. I just think this one is going to be really cute. I can't wait for you guys to see the hotel that we're going to be staying at. It's so pretty. So yeah. But anyways, I'm off topic. <laughs> These are my new jeans. And that's how the knees look. A little wrinkly. And then on the bottom, they're back to regular jeans. And on the back, they have leather. So they're pretty different. Something new. I like it. Edgy. I can already see how I'm going to wear them. And trust me, they're going to look so pretty. So this is how I would wear it. This. With this. With the jeans. And my Antigona. So that... Oh my god, I need to do like try on hauls. I know you guys asked for those and I'm excited to do them. So I think I'm going to be doing that pretty soon just so that you guys get an idea of the items, how I would wear them. So pretty much since it has a little bit of red, throw on the high heels. That. And then with my Antigona, that would look so pretty. I can already see it. And with some black um, sunglasses. Oh my god, that would be so cute. Ugh, what am I wearing to the airport tomorrow? I have no idea. I, I have no idea. <laughs> so 
pretty, you guys. I am in love with my bag. I am so in love with my bag that I don't want to wear it. <laughs> Typical Leslie, that is how I am. But anyways, okay, moving on with this haul, I'm going to show you guys two more items. No, actually, three more items, and we'll be done with this video. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about the items that I purchased? What was your favorite? Do you like the bag? Because I love the bag. Oh my god, and purchase another bag. Maybe in the future, I can do a giveaway and give a bag. I don't know. I didn't even think about it, but now I know. So next time, if I see a good deal, I will purchase another one for a giveaway. Whatever I give you guys is pretty much what I enjoy. So I have to make sure it's something that I love that I'm sharing with you guys. I have so many things I want to show you, but I don't think I'm going to be able to make this whole video. So I'm only going to cut it down to three more just because it's getting so late and I have to pack. Anyways, so my next item is actually going to be a gift, but I'm going to show you guys because I loved it. And I just thought, I'm not going to tell you guys who I'm going to give this to, but it's for Mother's Day. So it is this beautiful bag. Whoop. It is this Michael Kors bag. I just thought it was really cute and simple. I don't believe I ever owned a Michael Kors bag. So when I saw this one, I thought it was nice. I liked it. Like I mentioned to you guys, I'm all about structure bags. Um, but it's actually going to be a gift. So I don't know if this person is going to like it. I hope she does. Um, I believe it has a strap as well. Oh yeah, it has a strap. So she's going to be able to um, put it across her body. This is actually for my mother-in-law. When she last, last time she came over to San Diego, we went shopping and she was looking for a purse and I, I believe she didn't end up buying the purse that she wanted. So I was like, you know what? I would love to buy her a purse. So I found this one. I just thought it was really pretty. I think it's gonna go great with jeans. Since she works at an office, um, I don't know, I just think it's really pretty. The size is pretty good. She's taller than me, I'm 4'11", so <laughs> I'm pretty short. I just like the fact that it's not all in your face. If you don't look at it like closely, you won't know that it's Michael Kors. So I don't know, I liked it. It's very pretty. It would match with what I'm wearing right now. So like a very simple bag. And I purchased this at Bloomingdale's Outlet. And it comes with a little dust bag, which I thought was really cute. So I got her this, I hope she likes it. We'll see. <laughs> Hopefully she does, but I, I like it. It's so pretty. So the next item that I also found at Bloomingdale's is this beautiful, beautiful, cute little Michael Kors. And this is actually for my mom. By the time my mom watches this video, she's going to have it. So I'm excited. I hope she likes it. I think it's really cute. She doesn't like big bags, so this is definitely a smaller bag than the one that I just showed you. It's really cute. I love the color. And again, it has a strap as well right here whoops oh I don't like it when this thing is showing all right so it also has a strap so that was a major plus and I, I think she's gonna love it I think the size is perfect it's cute you can always like put a little keychain I saw it and I liked it I, I think my mom's gonna love it I hope she does we're gonna find out soon when I give it to her <laughs> and the hardware as you can see it is gold and it says Michael Kors right there. And this is how the legs look. I love little feet on a bag. I think that's really cute. A lot of the times, we put our bag on the ground and you just want to make sure it doesn't get dirty. So the little feet do help a lot. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. Here you go. In my opinion, I'd just rather have something like this than this. But we'll see. We'll see what happens as time goes by and I carry this bag. So yeah, this is going to be a purse for my mama. <laughs> and of course, I have to give her more things because I always shower her with things all the time. Since I was a little girl, I have always give her so many things. Christmas comes around. Everyone knows in my family, oh my God, Sandra is going to get all the presents. <laughs> and she does. We always um, shower her with gifts because she's the best. Because <laughs> my mama is the best, so she deserves everything. Just like I'm the best, I deserve everything. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And lastly, I'm going to be showing you these jeans that I picked up. I know summer is coming and all that, but I don't know. I just, I was having a thing for jeans, I guess, today. And I got these jeans. And they're just so pretty. 
They fit really good. This is how the back looks like. And the brand is Articles of Society. I think the jeans with that jacket that I um, that I just showed you guys on my previous video at the end that I tried on, that it was a size medium. I believe it was $80. That was, I thought it was a lot of money, but I mean, I just didn't feel like spending $80 on a jacket, especially since we're not going into winter. It is, summer is coming up. I was like, uh, it's just going to sit in my closet for a long time. I don't, I don't think it's a good idea. So good thing I didn't do it, but I think the jacket with this jeans or the others, it will look really cute. Like the whole biker kind of look with some high heels. Make it a little bit more girly, but very feminine and I don't know, sexy I would say. I would I would definitely do red lipstick with like my hair like super straight. I can already see the vision of what I would look like. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I, I like the jeans. I'm kind of glad I got two pairs. I believe that is it. No, actually, it's not it. But it's okay. <laughs> I don't want this video to be so long. But um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I know it's not the typical videos that I do. My hair is not even done. This is like my natural hair. Um, it's kind of like wavy. It's not... It used to be really wavy and curly before. But you know how it is. You strain it and you curl it and you do this and that. So many heat you put on your hair that is just no longer the way that it used to be i had a lot of things to show you guys i also purchased this little shirt i completely forgot to mention it but this top i got it from marshall's it is by velvet hearts oh i love that brand i have so many shirts that are from velvet hearts i think i mentioned that to you guys before um but anyways thank you so much for stopping by i hope you guys enjoy this haul and i will see you guys on my next video thank you so much for stopping by I can't believe I'm filming the night before. I still have to color my roots, you guys. Oh, that's another thing I have to do. I'm probably not going to be sleeping tonight. That's what I typically do. If I travel somewhere early in the morning, I don't sleep the night before and I sleep on the plane. And my plane is going to be pretty long since I'm going to be flying to New York and then from New York to Puerto Rico. So it's going to be a long day for me. Whew. Better get started with this roots. Look at the roots. Look, you guys. It's not that noticeable, but for me it is. So I'm going to do my roots and what else? Pack. I have to make sure Rosa and Diego and Leo have everything they need before I go. Um, I'm going to be gone for four days. So yeah, that's a long time for me. But um, I hope they miss me because I'm going to miss them a lot. I'm going to miss my husband, especially. Even though we bicker all the time. <laughs> it's normal, right? I'm, I'm assuming it's normal. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah. I will see you guys on my next video. So now I'm gonna get packing. I'm gonna show you how it looks, just so that you know the mess. Thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you guys soon. And yeah, so packing, packing, flying, getting there, having fun, outfit ideas. Look, the mess is so real. And you thought I was playing when I told you I need to pack. And I accidentally deleted all these items that I'm about to show you again. Sorry for the face. I literally have no makeup. I wasn't planning on doing this. I when I finished filming and I was like super happy about it. Then I don't know how in the world my film just got deleted. So I'm probably gonna put this on my extras, but just know that this was actually my intro and my thumbnail and just everything and it's just completely gone so bear with me um i apologize for the face uh like i said i was completely done filming i was so excited and happy and i was like oh my god it was perfect well no it wasn't perfect so now i guess i have to show you these items again what did i start with <laughs> i'm actually going to show you this hat that i got from charlotte Russe, and it is black it's really pretty it's a very simple hat. I can wear it for you guys. I'm so sorry. I feel hideous. Um, like I said, I had this completely done. And I can't believe I deleted it on accident. <laughs> so this is how it looks like. It's a very pretty hat. It's a very classic look. I can, 
I can see myself wearing this for a long time. It looks well made. It looks pretty good, I have to say. And it's pretty sturdy. So as you can see, that's how I would wear it. And then I also found, um, I found a bikini that would go so well with it. It is a one piece. And I bought this at uh, Bloomingdale's. So this is how it looks like. It's very mommy friendly. And it has a little strap right here. So it would go like this. And it goes over. So just like that. I love those kind of um, bikinis or bathing suits. I got these sandals. I thought they were very cute. I love the detail right here. I just thought it was very uh, feminine, very girly girl. And the best part is that they were only $14.99. So they were pretty affordable. Maybe in the future I can add uh, a couple of sparkles here and there to make it a little bit more fun. And here's a little buckle. And again, on the top, it has the same material and the same print. This will be the sandals that I'll be wearing when we are at the beach. My next item is this top. Oh my god, I am in love with this top. It is so cute. I love the fabric and the way it fits me is like perfect. Let me see if I can... So this is how it looks like when I put it on. And on the back it has a zipper. And I did purchase this in a size medium. I found the shorts in a size medium at Nordstrom's Rack. And they're just really fun, they're really colorful. I just love the print. I thought this with this would look so cute. Some of you might agree, some of you might disagree, but I have always wanted to wear print on print. I just think that looks really nice. And I'm planning on wearing this with my print shoes. I know, it's a lot of print. So with my print shoes, and these are Chinese laundry. I got them at Burlington. So it looks like a lot of print, a lot going on, but I know I can pull it off. It's gonna look really nice, and I'm excited to take pictures so I can show you guys. The fabric is very thick, and I just loved it. I did go for a size extra small, but as you guys can see, it is going to fit just fine. So this handbag, I got it at Bloomingdale's. And when I first saw it, I just thought it was the cutest handbag. If you look at it closely, you'll be surprised, but it is a Michael Kors handbag. I was pretty surprised when I first found out that it was a Michael Kors handbag. This is how the legs, this is how the legs look. This is the first time I am taking this off. It is a very feminine bag. When I first saw it, it kind of reminded me of Dolce & Gabbana. I don't know if you guys are familiar. They have a lot of colorful handbags. And when I first saw this, I thought, oh my god, it has that Dolce & Gabbana vibe. I love the fabric. Um, I also love the sparkles, the gems. The gems are really pretty. But here on the back, it has a pocket. And if you open the handbag, of course, I have a lot of <laughs> tissue right now. But it also comes with a strap. So that was pretty neat. I'm going to be using the strap um, for when I go on my vacation. I'm planning on bringing this back. It is not too big. I think it's perfect size. It is not heavy. It's just, it's the cutest bag ever, I have to say. Like I mentioned, I never thought it was a Michael Kors. When I saw it, I just thought, oh my god, that bag is really cute. And when I look over, I saw Michael Kors, I was like, hmm. Because typically when I think of Michael Kors, I think of MK, I think of the, the little keychains with the, the initials, the MK, but... So when I saw this bag, it really threw me off. I was pretty surprised, I was pretty pleased. The leather is nice, it has a little clip right here and another one right here. And this is how it would look like on me. So it's it's a pretty good size. I love it, you guys. It was like 15 minutes that I completely cut off, like lost. Um, 
So yeah, this is how I look like after a shower. Not something you guys want to see. <laughs> I don't feel so professional right now.